Hello, my name is Luke Hebbs and I'm from RLI UK. Welcome to my ninth video demonstration of Trustee's Rapport. In this demonstration I will show you that Rapport can help protect your login ID from phishing attacks. It does this by monitoring your user ID and it will warn you if you start to enter it into another site. Unfortunately, phishing emails and other scams are all too common and people don't always realise that their credentials and identity are under attack until it's too late. So let's log into HSBC, one of Trustee's partner sites and see this anti-phishing technology in action. So I'll open up Internet Explorer and I'm not going to do a search on HSBC, I'm just going to type their URL in directly. So here, type in www.hsbc.co.uk. You should be able to see at the top there, just before I go on to the HSBC website, that Trustier is actually installed and it has its grey icon in the address bar at the top there showing that Trustier is running but Google is not a protected site. When I go to the HSBC website though we should see that that will turn green as it has there to say that this is um, a protected website it's one of Trustier's partner websites. So if we go to here we can see that this is confirmed to be HSBC uh, and the IP address there of the actual server. So if I go to log on to the personal internet banking, now I don't know if you can see it here, but it says welcome, input internet banking user ID, e.g. IB 12345678900. So I'm going to enter exactly that. When I go to log in, you should see that Rapport will actually ask me if it wants uh, if I wanted to protect that identity. So IB one two three four five six seven eight nine zero now I go to log on and here we have the report dialog saying report has identified uh, user ID submission do you want report to start monitoring this user ID so I'm going to say yes I do want it to monitor this um, user ID just in case I fall foul of some phishing scam in the future so we'll click yes now that should take us to the next page which gives us our um, login details, um, it asks us for our login details, the date of birth and the first, second or fourth digit of the security number. Okay, so what happens now if I um, receive a phishing email? So obviously I'm not actually going to log in here at the moment because that isn't a valid um, internet banking user ID. But if I close that down and open up um, the email program here, we can see I've received one new unread mail message. If we're going to have a look at that, there's a, it's a notification message from HSBC Bank. Here it is. Dear HSBC customer, your HSBC security number was entered incorrectly more than three times. For the protection of your account, we have suspended access to it. To restore access, please log on correctly. So I'll click on that link. And you should see in the background uh, that the URL is actually www.hsbc.couk.com. Okay, it's not actually HSBC, and you can tell that again um, from the trust here, uh, from the rapport rather icon in the address bar here. It's still grey. Okay, so here we're not saying um, that this is HSBC. The website is actually couk.com, and it's unverified. However, to the normal user, this might look like HSBC's website. I've just put the word fished in here, and um, actually in the page here, and in the um, top address, uh, top bar as well, just so you know that this is actually a, um, a fished site. But if I go to the login here, again, this kind of looks like the HSBC site, apart from the fact I've actually added the word fished onto this site here. But if I start typing in my same user ID report should come up and warn me that I'm typing it into a site that isn't HSBC. So I start typing in I B one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and as soon as I type in the zero I get a protected information warning. You have just entered text similar to your login on HSBC. You are receiving this warning because you are about to send your information to a different website couk.com so how to decide do not warn me when I use this particular login credential so on and so forth so we can either ignore this warning or get me out of here so here I'm going to say get me out of here 
that was obviously um, a phishing email um, take me actually to the real HSBC and again trusty will now push me off onto the real HSBC and once again we can see that it's been verified by Trustee here. If we open the console as well you can see now that uh, we have a blocked credential submission as well. So if we look at the full report number of credential submission events is one and HSBC credential submitted to couk.com submission blocked by user. So you can see that Trustee is actually helping to protect our user ID from phishing scams. So even if we enter that same user ID into another website, it will warn us about it before we have actually submitted it and offer us a way to go to the real site. That's the end of my demonstration.